Are you ready for some football? great to be with you and I don't think anybody is going to complain especially about the weather I'm Derek Ray and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson and very much looking forward to bringing you live action from the Liga Portugal it's Porto up against Benfica well thanks Derek the best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff earn the right to play if you can win your individual battles outrun your opponent eventually you'll get the space to show your ability i'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today and a look at the starting lineup for porto pepe plays alongside marcano in central defense and so many different ways to configure an attack in this case it'll be two men up front And this is how the starting 11 looks for Benfica. Well, they're playing in a 4-4-2, with one of the strikers just dropping that little bit deeper. His role is to find space between the defensive lines, but he can only do that if his partner makes forward runs. And the match begins. Bar. And with it, Joao Mario. Gonzalo Ramos. Well read to ease the pressure. Evan Nilsson and on to Taremi. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Rafa, defensive roadblock in the way of that cross. Terrific block. Grimaldo, good looking cross. But it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it left the boot. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? Well, he's the most creative player on the field. He can run with the ball, he can get himself out of tight situations, he can see a pass, he's very creative with his play. I think he's going to be the outstanding player today. Aursnes. Lorentino. Joao Mario. Oh, managing to beat him. And the keeper getting across to stop it. Oh, 
Over it comes. Oh, just the kind of save every goalkeeper would expect to make. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Well, no way through. Florentino. Potential danger here. Could be. There is the goal to open the scoring. Who can say they don't deserve to be in front? Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. how to beat your opponent but no damage done that's the main thing big chance oh good work to deny the opportunity oh dear not really troubling the goalkeeper at all Stuart well from that range he should be scoring and he knows it Florentino Joao Mario on the ball Florentino and in possession Chiquinho can they trouble the opposition this time a disappointing end to the move Otamendi Chiquinho on the ball, Florentino. Joao Mario. Excellent refereeing. Advantage in operation. A bit sloppy in possession. Well, not a great ball played in. Oh, he's lost possession. Well, that was a guilt-edged opportunity for the equaliser. Well, I'm not sure how he's missed the target from there. That's a poor effort. Chiquinho. Gonzalo Ramos. And in possession, Chiquinho. And with it, Joao Mario. Joao Mario. A danger here as he runs at them. Can he finish? Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. He's driven in the corner. It might still be problematic. And he'd be disappointed if he didn't take that one cleanly. Really good interception. Well, lovely work to get past his man. I'm not testing the keeper at all with that effort. Well, as the stats confirm, Benfica have been the more dominant team over the last 15 minutes and with it have created some great openings. They certainly look as though they get another before too long. Indeed, perhaps they can cash in again. Let's see. Given away by Benfica. Steven Eustachio. 
Pepe. Losing possession. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Oh, that's a fine save. Well, the crowd are doing their bit. Can they find the equaliser here? They take it short. Must be! Oh, he saved it well. well. Another corner kick conceded. Let's see what they do this time. Short option preferred. Superb block. Mateo Suribe. That is that for the first half here. Rafa catching the eye in the first half here. What did you make of him? Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. And the game begins. So back underway here into the second half. And holding the ball up in a decent position. Well, no let up, plenty of pressure. Chiquinho. Aursnes. Running room in the wide position. But quick thinking defensively. Mateo Suribe. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Bar. And a strong tackle. Now, who can he play it to? Great pressure to win the ball back. And a chance to level it. And the keeper more than equal to the task. And over it comes, not away completely. It's a neat move. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. This might be ideal for the counter. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Rafa. Shot attempted, able to get a body in the way. So, a half an hour remaining. Well, they have the ball once more. And support available. This could be the equaliser. But, oh, what an important save. How about that? Well, at least he hit the target, but he should really beat the keeper from there. They should be level now. And deciding to go short with this one. Cross fired over. 
corner kicks keep on coming. And the substitution will occur now. And there's the delivery, making sure nothing untoward happened. Promising sequence, an utterly disappointing cross, goal kick. Well, Porto have certainly controlled the possession in the last 15 minutes and have created one or two good chances with it. If they can continue to play with this domination, it's only a matter of time before they draw level. Decent delivery. Very clear who got the last touch. So a corner coming up. Elects to go short. That's all for the keeper. And that's gone out of play for what will be a goal kick. Joao Mario. And in possession, Chiquinho. Rafa Frederick Aursnes and doing all he can to grab his second of the game well he's been a real live wire today a constant threat to this back line and over comes the corner and the problem not completely solved. Otamendi. Now they stopped them in their tracks. They're trying to get right into his face. A room to roam on the wing. And there's the feed into the box. Well, able to survive that attacking push. Grujic. Porto have given it away. Rafa. It's a good-looking ball in behind. Well, I must say, it did look so promising, but the flag is raised. Offside the verdict, Stuart. Well, he's just too eager there. It's the right run, but he's made it too early. Uribe. Grujic. They're showing a willingness to attack, as they must. It could be up for grabs. Excellent block. Now, in the dying embers of the game, it looks as though the visitors have done enough. Stuart, your assessment? Well, they need to hold on here. Not long left now, but you have to say they've defended really well up to this point, and I just can't see them conceding now. This will be a really good win if it stays like this. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Well, they really had to be on their toes defensively, given the circumstances. And the counter-attack is on, options available. A really sumptuous ball. But it's great when you can rely on your keeper. Time is not on the side. This corner could help the prospects as they look for an equaliser. Over it comes. Plattered away. 
And what can they do to stop him running at them? Grujic. Firing it towards goal. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. And time for the change now. A chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner. Well cleared away. And the referee has decided to add on three additional minutes. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. João Mario. Chiquinho. And back was João Mario. Crossed accurately towards the far post. Oh, it's in! And that might be the goal that clinches it for them. No looking back now, surely. Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. And that is that, the referee blows his whistle for full time and it's a victory for the visitors. Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area, and they also look threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them. Well, Rafa can be a real handful for opponents and certainly was at times today, Stuart. They struggled to contain him. Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player. The keeper getting across to stop it. Could be. There is the goal to open the scoring. Who can say they don't deserve to be in front? Can he finish? Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Oh, that's a fine save. Must be. Oh, he saved it well. Well, another corner kick conceded. Let's see what they do this time. And a chance to level it. And the keeper more than equal to the task. But oh, what an important save. How? about that well at least he hit the target but he should really beat the cross fired over the corner kicks keep on coming and the substitution will occur now a really sumptuous ball well it's great when you can rely on your keeper Time is not on the side. This corner could help the cross. Chiquinho. And back was Joao Mario. Crossed accurately towards the far post. Oh, it's in! And that might be the goal that clinches it for them. No looking...